action. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you. Hello. Deep Sea. And right now I'm in the monkey bar and I'm doing an interview with this very talented young individual. Hey Deep Sea, may I ask you a couple questions about uh, your background as a DJ? I've read in your MySpace that you were in ATL and uh, I know it's a lot of DJs that come from that area. Uh, could you give me some background information about that? Yeah, well, uh, I moved here to Philly about 11 years ago from Atlanta. Um, I actually only lived in Atlanta for three years and I was DJing there uh, from school, which uh, I went to uni University of Minnesota. Okay. Um, I originally grew up in Detroit, Michigan, and that's pretty much where I'll credit my DJing ability or, or ear for music. Okay, um, how did, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but how did you learn from uh, others to be a DJ? Was it kind of like hands-on training or did um, you read a book? <laughs> nah, um, pretty much uh, it, it was basically, I, I think it was just my upbringing. Um, okay. When I was really young, my mom was really into disco music, and this was in the 70s. Okay. Uh, so I heard a lot of dance music, a lot of disco. All right. Um, and this is when I was growing up in Minneapolis. I was born in Minneapolis. Okay. So from the age of six, uh, I listened to disco with my mom, and then I moved to Detroit with my dad. Okay. And I come from a huge family, so I had uncles staying with us. Uh, my dad had, he was a pro basketball player, so he had a pretty big house. Okay. Um, my uncles were in the funk. I mean, one of my uncles had a, a room full of 8-track tapes of wow. all, like, funk, R&B, and everything. So I heard all the stuff that he wow. was into. So you were surrounded by music, basically. I, I was. And right. not only that, the radio stations in Detroit were really ahead of, you know, their time at the time. Okay. Um, Why you say that? Particularly one DJ named the Electrifying Mojo. He had a wow. radio station. I mean, not a radio station, but a radio program that would play everything from Prince. And this was before Prince, you know, did Purple Rain and was hugely popular. He would play, you know, Prince, uh, you know, versus, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, the guy who was on uh, uh, the Dave Chappelle show who, who later died. Oh, Rick James. He would oh, do, wow. like, segments of Prince versus Rick James. But he was... You know, a DJ playing the 80% black inner city kids. Okay. Where he would play the B-52s, he would play craft work. Okay. Um, you know, and all kinds of stuff all in one set. You okay. Know? Um, soft cell, I mean, all kinds of all kinds of things. So, like, the whole city of Detroit was really into dance music. And that's wow. where, like, Juan Atkins, Derek May, coming out with Detroit Tech now. Okay. You know, that's pretty much how all that came about. Okay, so you probably heard some of that Chicago stuff coming in oh, from the house. All the all Chicago that. house. Okay. Um, you know, like if you look at radio now in America, it's, you know, I mean, it's just mainstream pop, pretty yeah. much kind of crap. You know, some, that, people, some people do some good stuff, but, you know, on major radio stations, there would be a house song as like the the, the make it or break it or pump it or dump it wow. song. You know, at 8 p.m., you know, yeah. prime time, they would say, hey, here goes a song from Lil Lewis. Okay. You know, uh, call in to say whether you like it or not. Ooh, okay. Wow, yeah. you, you had a taste of when it was first starting. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, that's that's pretty good, though. So that's a good uh, background getting into if you like into electronica. Mm -hmm. So uh, that probably explains why you're really heavily in electronic, which you grew up on it, basically. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm surprised you're not in really into hip hop or R&B as much. Well, you know, I mean, I like R&B, especially the old stuff, you know, that uh, dealt with love song, you know, talked about love. It wasn't all about, you know, just sex or, yeah. you know, come on, girl, get on this. So you, you like the I mean? old school stuff? Yeah, I like the old school stuff. I mean, okay. if, and if somebody does something good, like John Legend or, you know, I'm into it. You know? Okay. All right. And this goes to... And speaking of legends, it sounds like you're creating one by making this uh, Tiger Hook Corporation. Uh, can you give me some background information about it? I read a little bit on MySpace, but uh, I'd like to hear it from uh, you. Well, basically, Tiger Hook Corporation is, uh, you know, just a, a, a group of DJs. And I wouldn't say all necessarily like-minded. You know, I mean, we all play house or, or some form of house. Um, but there's about nine of us. Um, you know, we're all into it, you know, we, we play around, we produce music, you know, and... Oh, you make your own stuff? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's good. And um, basically how it came about, 
uh, a friend of mine, Randall Jones and Haito, they're both in Tiger Hook. Okay. Uh, they came up with Tiger Hook somewhere around 96, or wait, was it 97, 98. Um, I was in a crew, uh, a crew at that time called Wamdu Kids, Wamdu Project. All right. But I lived here in Philly, and, and we were based out of Atlanta. Okay. Um, you know, I just knew Randall and Haito from Philly happenings and all that. Okay. And uh, things were breaking down with Wamdu, and uh, you know, Randall and I became roommates, and he was telling me stuff like what he wanted to do he wanted to travel you know he wanted to make music and stuff like that all right which at that time i was already doing yeah um so you know i was like you know i was like well if you're serious about having a crew that is internationally you know recognized um you know i was like well you know we should bring chris udo in it he was also a partner of mine in wamdu okay and a couple other cats who were making music good music like hollis p monroe and phil charles i was like you know we should bring them into it right. so right off the bat we would already be international you know and right. and, and it, it would be easy to make music put it out on labels and, and get known wow okay. so that's pretty much what happened and then uh, a few other members that rounded out the crew, Mark Pappas, um, Rodrigo, and Pat Parker. Okay, you know, Rodrigo works here also, right? Rodrigo yeah. did work here. Oh, he did work, um, okay. He might get another night here. Um, all right. At some point he quit, but, you know, that was his decision. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I'm sorry, go ahead. You're talking about your crew. Yeah, well, you know, that that's our crew. There's another cat, Rex Ridham, who's in... Uh, DC. He's been a longtime friend of Randall and Haito, and I think he's about to be an uh, an inducted member into the crew. Wow. Okay. And maybe another one, you know, somewhere down the line. That's cool. All right.